Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another mail week video. Um, didn't quite make it a week. They're starting to pile up on my desk. So I um, thought I'd do a quick video to get through these and um, put them away for a while. <laughs> but anyways, so if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content. Um, I do lots of different things, sports cards mainly, but do some unboxing of board games. We just got in Storytime Chess. I try to teach my daughter how to play chess. She's four. Anyways, um, started a playlist on that. But let's get back to this. Again, thanks for watching. So, Mail Week, this is um, March 5th through the 9th. And um, I got a bunch of bigger lots of cards where the seller had multiple of the same card for sale or things of that nature. So somebody out there has broke down 49 or more um, sets of Hoops Premium Pulsars sets from Target. So I got 49 um, Colin Sexton cards for um, $32. And then I got 49 John Collins for like 19 and then I also picked up um, the lot that they had for sale of Christian Wood um, was 49 cards as well I paid more than 49 it was a couple hundred but I just I couldn't uh, stop myself for some reason you know I think for four dollars a card um, for this one is pretty average for um for sales on these some of them have gone cheaper but for the most part i think right now we're at a uh we're at a low on the christian wood cards for the value just because he hasn't played in a, a, but <clears throat> i don't know a month or two now probably and um I think people have just kind of forgotten about them, but and the Rockets for that matter. I mean, they've lost like 13 games in a row without since he's been out. And uh, when he comes back and wins that first game with them, fuck, look out! I got a really good feeling about this guy long term, so I'm I'm hitting his uh, second year cards up like crazy. So here's some more um, Christian Wood. So I got these are out of 99. Um, these are just the press or the certified set, the orange. Um, we got a couple blues. They're not numbered. It's just a uh, different parallel color. Um, here are the uh, illusions. I haven't been p paying much for these at all, just because nobody likes illusions for some reason. Christian Wood, um, Hoops Premium, so Mojo, uh, Laser, Green Cracked Ice. Blue, uh, blue pulsar. These are just rad looking. Red pulsar. Um, green flash. Green flash out of ninety nine. This is uh, twenty one. Looks pretty good. I think it has a little bit of a print line in it, but other than that, it looks great. Uh, checkerboard. This is the premium. It's at one forty nine. And it was like you could, out of like every three or four to five sets or whatever it was, boxes of full sets at Target, you would pull one of these and the whole set would be numbered to 149. And then here are some more, uh, what, six more Pulsar Silvers for the stack. And then I got some this year's hoops, so the purple, uh, the blue. Parallels, two teal blasts, and I got an orange out of 25. It looks really good. And then I actually picked up as a, a rookie card for really cheap, um, like 20 some dollars or something. I think <laughs> 1915 is what I got that for, and. It looks great. Like, I didn't see much wrong with it. You know, a couple little white spots here and there, but man, it's definitely worth 20 bucks. 
surprise I won it. So got those Christian Wood. Um, here are some more Henry Allenson cards. Again, he's from my hometown, so and he's actually doing really, really well in the G League right now. Scoring, he's averaging like over 20 a game, at eight rebounds. He's got his three three stroke is unreal right now. He's canning them. Uh, this one's a press proof out of 199. And then just um, you know various different different brands, hoops, hoops blue. Uh, the blast or whatever checkerboard green. I got 90 the number 99 out of 99 Hoops hollow. It's pretty badass um, I got all these from the same seller and I don't know how he had all the stuff but Henry's so uh, optic hollow checkerboard which says checkerboard on the back uh, purple, orange, I don't, this one's numbered to 199, uh, red to 99, blue to 49, pink to 25, uh, teal to 25, uh, gold to 10, and I got a on-card auto out of 199 that's pretty sick so uh, let's see here we got some Carl Malone cards again so this one here is his all NBA first team Fleer Ultra 95-96 um, so this is a Bowman's best so it's a die cut refractor. It's pretty sick. Looks really good. Uh, this one here is a high voltage NBA hoops insert. Hollow silver type of thing from 1998 Skybox hoops. Uh, this one here I got in today. It was absolutely disgusting the dirt on this thing but i cleaned it up pretty good um power core tops chrome pretty cool spark plug um pretty good condition actually after i got it cleaned up this is in 1998 um i got a couple more rock men these are the refractor tops chrome ones these are cool um i got a silver of his just a prism for cheap silver 2018 I got this one uh, holding court tops Carl Malone refractor I got it I peeled the, the film off of it looks great and then um, top crop so I bought all of these from Com C for the most part just kind of cleaned them out so these are Carl Malone with Ben Baker on the back Three of those. Um, Charles Barkley with Joan Howard. Mitch Richmond and Reggie Miller. Clyde the Glide with Glenn Rice on the back. Sweet looking cards. Um, I don't think they're going to grade well though, just because there's two sides to them and there's not a big population, so I don't think a lot of people have been taking care of these. Uh, Terrell Brandon and John Stockton on these. And then on these here, there's five of these uh, Dave Robinson with Patrick Ewing. And then I got some Alonzo Monering with. Dikembe Matumbo, four of them. Um, speaking of Glenn Rice, we just saw some of his stuff. Um, Bowman's Best Honor Roll. Two of these, really good condition. Um, Sean Kemp on the front, Glenn Rice on the back. 
These are from Com C too. Look really nice. And then we got this stack left, which is kind of some random stuff. Um, but it's pretty cool. Neat things in here. So Peyton Manning on roll, Bowman's best refractors, three of them. This is his second year card. Um, Mamadi Diaki. This guy, I'm not gonna murder his name any more than it needs to be. So he was called up uh, by the Bucks from the G League, I believe, just recently, where he's been doing very well. Um, you know, scoring over 20 some points a game, 10 rebounds, block shots, things of that nature. So I picked up some of his uh, rookie cards with autos on them. Pretty reasonable price, you know. Now we're talking 10 bucks and under type of thing. What the hell? And let's see, this one here came with the uh, one of the Christian Woods that I bought. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr., one, two, three, four, Hoops Premium, Pulsars, Rookies. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., so this is a green Pulsar, so his second year card, technically. And also the black Pulsar, so the same guy had these two for sale for really cheap, and I added them to my order of uh, Christian Wood cards. And then I got some of these uh, Superstar Summits, which is um, Upper Deck from 2002. I was going through my collection to see what to send a PSA, and they came across the Allen Iverson one. And uh, I think Ray Allen. And I'm like, man, these are pretty sweet cards. So I looked them up, look up the pop reports. There's not many out there, I don't think, from what I remember. But they're really sharp looking. You know, they're not full on refractor type of a card, but there's definitely a background of it in there. And uh, some pretty, really good players on these things. Uh, Ray Allen, one of his. Here's Allen Iverson. But yeah, they're super cool looking cards. Uh, got a couple Shacks. And Kobe. So got a couple Kobe's. But these are really, really neat looking. Cool picture, it's a cool design. Um, pretty clean looking card, so. Yeah, I've been looking at those, and then I bought uh, four sets of the Soaring Stars Fleer 1990 set. Some some guy had them for sale. We didn't have pictures of all of them, but it's Ken Griffey Jr.'s you know second year card insert type of thing, and with the way that these things are made and cut. Uh, super rare to see any high grades, I'm sure, by now. So I figure even if you get eights and nines, you might score some decent um, return on these things down the road. Anyways, Larry Walker, one, two. I think I got short of one Larry Walker on it. Uh, Robin Ventura was in the set. And I just love the design on these things. I mean, this is so badass. And then here are the, the Griffies. I got four from this sale, and then I also got another single that I bought. Um, what I've noticed is that even though it looks really nicely centered on the front here for most of these, you actually want this design pushed over farther. Because when you look at the back, look at how bad that thing is off. And they're all like that. So you almost want like this whole thing to be pushed down a little bit, is my guess, with the way it's supposed to be. But otherwise, I mean, the cards look pretty good. You know, they're little little jagged edges, so probably not going to get 10s or anything, but I just love the look of them, and it is King Griffey Jr.'s second year card, and it's an insert from the 1990s. 
and it looks like a bitch to grade too so pick those up and that's that's what i got so far so um thanks everybody for checking out the video um, appreciate all you guys watching and liking the videos and commenting on how crazy i am for all the christian wood i buy um joey that's for you and uh you know hit the like button and then hit the bell for uh, notifications when i put out new content and we'll see you in the next one thanks